So instead of pumpkin pie, why not really look like a rock star and make my layered pumpkin trifle? And it couldn't be easier. We're starting out, I love this because it's a no bake. Now, we picked this uh, pumpkin bread right up at Festival Foods, right in the bakery. And this time of year, you're going to see, you know, seasonal breads like that. Um, so they have it right there. If you can't find it, well, just call Festival. They'll have it ready for you. Uh, just order it ahead, but they have these right in the bakery. But they also sell like a, a pumpkin quick bread loaf right in the cake mix aisle this time of year. So you could just bake up one of those. But boy, oh, it smells so good. Mm really nice and moist. So that's going to be what we're going to start with. And we're just going to cut this into cubes. While I'm doing this, I have to um, say congratulations to the woman who won that wonderful dining room set. Uh, congratulations to Luann Lori, Lauren, I should say, of Marinette. She won that $2,000 uh, Chrome Craft dining room set uh, to uh, Van Breedy. So very, very cool. Congratulations. Hope she enjoys it, just in time for Thanksgiving. And by the way, all those great Thanksgiving recipes we did on the show last week, go to our website and uh, print them up. Some really fun ones. That cauliflower, cheesy cauliflower soup was fantastic, and the sweet potato casserole, and that bourbon pecan pie. Everybody's asking me about that one, so all sorts of really great recipes. So I'm just cutting this up into little cubes. doesn't have to be perfect. And this is something also what I'm doing, uh, you know, like today I'll do a couple of dishes. I'm starting to kind of do my checkoff list, getting things done ahead of time. So, you know, um, the mashed potatoes, I made those wonderful boars and mashed potatoes on the show last week. That's something you can get done today. Park those in the refrigerator and then just heat them in the microwave or in the oven Thanksgiving day. So, you know, some of the things you can get done. This is this dessert right here, you can do the day ahead, not a problem. So, you know, the veggies for the veggie and dip platter. You can be cutting up the celery and have the carrots done and have the dip made. We're a big fan of we do the, the munchies before Thanksgiving, you know, while we're watching football. So that's a whole other separate spread. So some of those dips and things like that. Get her done. Okay, so got our um, pumpkin bread all cubed up. Now we're going to make two boxes of instant vanilla or French vanilla pudding. Two small boxes. Instant is real important here. So get those in there. Big night out coming up, and I hope you're going to come. I think it's going to be amazing. I love French food, but. We don't have the opportunity to, you know, eat much French food around here. Well, now we do. Brand new, fantastic French restaurant getting rave reviews. And that's where we're going for our next big night out. We're going there Tuesday, December 4th. So by then, you'll probably need a big night out. So please join us. Call today for reservation. Five-course French meal, $60 per person. And that includes, as I said, five courses with wine. So it's going to be a magical evening. It includes the tip too. So hope to see you there. Box11online.com. Click on the living tab and you'll see big night out right there. Okay. So I'm just mixing my two boxes of vanilla pudding with three cups of cold milk. And we love our milk sponsor, Lamer's Dairy. Milk in the glass bottles. We love that. Great store too. They actually have a uh, a wonderful store connected with the dairy with all sorts of cheeses and sausages and neat things where you can put a gift pack together. I, I send those to a lot of my relatives that live out of state for the holidays. It's just, you know, you want to send them something, and I always kind of like to send them a taste of Wisconsin. And they love getting my little cheese gift boxes every year. So that's kind of a neat idea. And they do all the work for you. You don't have to ship it, which is nice. So I'm just mixing this together until it starts to thicken a little bit. Dove into the book club book over the weekend. Oh my gosh, is it good. The Light Between the Oceans. Wednesday, December 5th, we are meeting at La Java to discuss. So go get the book this weekend. Dive into it and come along and read. Read it and come along and discuss it with us. It's always a really, really good time. Okay, trifle dish. We've talked about this before. Hopefully you have one of these by now. If not, 
put one on your Christmas wish list, so go out and get one yourself. They're under 10 bucks. I know they have them at Cook's Corner, lots of places. And what it is is a, a pretty glass dish on a pedestal that I do dips in, I do layered salads in, and I do these wonderful trifle desserts in. I have about five or more trifle recipes in my new cookbook, including this pumpkin trifle recipe. And I'm always coming up with new different ones all the time because they really are a wow factor. You take them out at the end of your dinner and everyone just goes, oh man. And I love that, that's just cool, that's fun. So we're gonna start layering. You know, I'm not a pastry chef, so this is kind of my way to bring it, I guess. So just kind of throw the cubes in here and it doesn't have to be perfect, the pumpkin bread. And this was one loaf. And then over in this bowl, I'm gonna start with mascarpone cheese. This is an Italian cream cheese. You can find it right at Festival, lots of grocery stores. It's used to be a little hard to find. This is the stuff they make tiramisu with. And this is gonna give this a wonderful kind of almost a cheesecakey flavor. If you can't find it, and you, you should be able to find it very easily, uh, it's usually near the specialty cheeses at the grocery store. You could just take a little whip, or whipped cream cheese or whip up some cream cheese yourself, about four ounces of it, and add a little bit of powdered sugar in there, just a little bit, and whip it up yourself, and that makes a great substitute. Adding some cinnamon, and I'm just going to start to beat that together, the mascarpone and the cinnamon. And then I'm going to add a large container of thawed whipped topping. You could certainly make your own homemade whipped cream, but you know that's one more thing you don't need to do, and there's so much great stuff going on with this. And that mascarpone is just going to make it taste fantastic. So mixing those together. Hey, a huge thank you to everyone who came out to my couple of book signings over the weekend. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really feeling the love. I was at Schwartz's in St. Anna and then at Cook's Corner. And I'm actually going to be doing a whole bunch of book signings during the holidays. So uh, you can go to uh, online, fox11online.com. Click on the Living tab and find out how to order my book online. Find out where I'm going to be. I am going to be at Cook's Corner. I'm getting up right and early, Black Friday. Actually, I'll be at Cook's Corner. They're having a big event going on there, Black Friday. So I'll be there 8.30 to 10 o'clock Friday morning after Thanksgiving. So come on out and see me. It's always nice to meet you and get your great recipes. A little bit more cinnamon. Now, to the pudding, oh, before I do that, I almost forgot to toast our nuts. I'm going to decorate the top with some toasted pecans. Uh, this is optional. If your family doesn't do nuts, you can leave them out. Those little cute um, candy pumpkins or candy corn would also be really cute to decorate them with. But we're going to do some pe pecans, and I just like to toast them in a dry skillet just for, you know, 30 seconds or so. Doesn't take long at all. I'm opening up one big can of pumpkin, and that's going to go into our vanilla pudding, and it's going to be almost like a, a pumpkin pudding. And that's where our pumpkin comes in. So this is great along with, you know, for desserts on Thanksgiving, it's nice to do a couple of different options. So maybe you want to do pumpkin pie and one of these, or apple pie and one of these. This is just so pretty. I like to actually, sometimes I'll use the desserts, you know, kind of as a, do a little dessert table and really make it look fantastic. So I'm just mixing the pudding in with the canned pumpkin. And that was a pumpkin pie filling, so it already has the spices and everything right in here. And now we're gonna start layering. Don't let me burn my nuts, Anne. Mm -hmm. And for everybody who keeps asking, Levi is doing much better. Thank you so much. I don't have to cook for him anymore. <laughs> I was all last week, we took, rushed him to the vet. Turns out he, he just had an infection, so we have him on antibiotics, and he's really done well with them. 
Uh, but anyway, I was having to cook for him all last week, hamburger and rice. And after about a week of it, I love the dog, I really do, but cooking for the family and the dog, that was a lot. So anyway, uh, a lot of people said, well, you know, now that you've done that, try putting some gravy or chicken or beef stock onto his dry food to get him back. Of course, he was like, I don't want that dry food anymore after you've been cooking for me, Mom. So, <laughs> well, I'm talking like the dog. Do we all like talk like our dog? Anyway, um, oh, sure you do, Ann. If only dogs could talk. Well, actually, I don't know if we want to know what they have to say. Uh, but anyway, I thought, oh, let's give this a try because this is going to be a lot if I have to cook for him from here on out. And sure enough, he was hungry and he went for the, the, the little trick of the gravy or the stock on the, uh, on the old dry food. Works like a charm. Okay, so I'm just wiping some of the dish and feel free to do this. I, I want to be able to see the layers. So if you're putting a little bit of whipped cream and it gets on the sides, just use a clean wet rag and that'll take care of that problem. You just want this to look as gorgeous as you can. Okay, now we're going to do another layer. So more of the cake. Abby, my producer, it's, you know, she had a baby over the summer, and this is going to be the first Thanksgiving, the first Christmas with Hudson. How cute. Oh, good. We get to see a picture. I know she just showed me a picture of his holiday outfit. So is he going to eat turkey? He's a little young. He is. You can kind of Blend it up with mashed potatoes. How cute. OK, so we just keep layering. We're going to do another layer of the pumpkin. And this is the part where you can just now, at this part, park it into the refrigerator with plastic wrap. And then this is what I do. Are my nuts doing okay over there, Ann? And if you burn the nuts, just start over because there's really no way to use them. Okay. All right. So cover this with plastic wrap is what you do. And then right before you serve it, that's when you also cover and refrigerate the rest of the whipped topping. And what I always say is you take Uncover it then, and right before you serve it, you dress it up, just like you're putting lipstick on before you go out. So you take the remaining mascarpone and whipped cream topping. I always say you put a nice big cloud, I call it a cloud, right on the top, just kind of in the center. And then you decorate the top. You could do a little bit of cinnamon. You could do, as I said, those candy pumpkins. We're going to do some of our toasted pecans, just a few of them, just to kind of dress it up and make it look fantastic. So there you go. It's my layered pumpkin trifle. Just one of those easy, breezy, last-minute recipes. We threw this together in less than 10 minutes. You can do it, too. And your family, I think, and everyone will love it.